The third decade of the 21st century has begun. The environmental challenges we have ahead of us, set out in the UN's 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, are many. This global plan of action adopted in 2015 puts forward specific measures to achieve a world that is fairer, more prosperous, and more respectable of the environment within 10 years. With the help of many surveys and a lot of research, it has been found that more than 50% of people across the globe believe that abrupt climate change is the biggest global concern. It is seriously impacting the health of our planet. It is the reason behind so many other problems. But it's not the only one we should pay attention to. We have here the rundown of the top 10 major global environmental issues of today. Number 10. Public Health Issues COVID-19 stole the headlines in 2020 and revealed that most countries were vastly underprepared for a pandemic. Still, the current environmental problems pose a lot of risk to the health of humans and animals. Dirty water is the biggest health risk globally and poses a threat to the quality of life and public health. Today, 785 million people, one in nine, lack access to safe water, and two billion people, one in three, lack access to a toilet. The water crisis is a health crisis. Nearly one million people die each year from water, sanitation, and hygiene-related diseases, which could be reduced with safe water and sanitation access. Every two minutes, a child dies from a water-related illness. Access to safe water and sanitation contributes to improved health and helps prevent the spread of infectious diseases. Number 9. Acid Rain Acid rain is not pure acid falling from the sky, but rather it is rainfall or atmospheric moisture that has been mixed with elements and gases that have caused the moisture to become more acidic than normal. Acidic precipitation can be caused by natural, volcanoes, or man-made activities, such as cars, and electricity generation. Air pollution like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides can cause respiratory diseases or worsen these diseases. Acid rain can be extremely harmful to forests too. Acid rain that seeps into the ground can dissolve nutrients, such as magnesium and calcium, that trees need to be healthy. Another thing, when acid rain and dry acidic particles fall to earth, the nitric and sulfuric acid that makes the particles acidic can land on statues, buildings, and other man-made structures and damage their surfaces. The acidic particles corrode metal and cause paint and stone to deteriorate more quickly. Number 8. Ozone Layer Depletion The ozone layer is a layer of gas present in the uppermost part of the atmosphere. It protects the planet by stopping the UV rays that are coming from the sun. Ozone layer depletion increases the amount of UBV that reaches the Earth's surface. Laboratory and epidemiological studies demonstrate that UVB causes non-melanoma skin cancer and plays a significant role in malignant melanoma development. In addition, UVB has been linked to the development of cataracts, a clotting of the eye lens. In addition to that, UVB radiation has been found to cause damage to the early developmental stages of fish, shrimp, crab, amphibians, and other marine animals. The most severe effects are decreased reproductive capacity and impaired larval development. It has major effects too on plants, biogeochemical cycles to materials as well. Number 7. Deforestation Deforestation simply means clearing green cover and making that land available for residential, industrial, or commercial purposes. Our forests are natural sinks of carbon dioxide and produce fresh oxygen. They also help regulate temperature and rainfall. But every minute, forests the size of 20 football fields are cut down. By 2030, the planet might have only 10% of its forests. If deforestation isn't stopped, they could all be gone in less than 100 years. Soil erosion, irregular rains, flooding, increased greenhouse gases are some of the adverse effects this has on our environment. Number 6. Loss of Biodiversity Biodiversity loss refers to the decline or disappearance of biological diversity, understood as the variety of living things that inhabit the planet. Human activity is leading to the extinction of species and habitats and loss of biodiversity. Ecosystems, which took millions of years to perfect, are in danger when any species population is decimating. Biodiversity is essential because every species on the Earth is helpful to keep many ecosystems healthy, thriving, and balanced. It plays a vital role in the sustainability of life on Earth. More than 500 species of land animals are on the brink of extinction and are likely to be lost within 20 years. The same number were lost over the whole of the last century. Many species have experienced substantial losses and many are nearing extinction. So awareness is essential to control it. Number 5. Ocean Acidification Human activities release CO2 into the atmosphere, which leads to atmospheric warming and climate change. 
Around a third to a half of the CO2 released by human activities is absorbed into the oceans. While this helps reduce the rate of atmospheric warming and climate change, it also has a direct chemical effect on seawater, which we call ocean acidification. Due to this, the pH level of the seawater increases, affecting marine life and coral reefs, so controlling the amount of CO2 in our atmosphere will also help our oceans sustain life. Number 4. Waste Disposal The overconsumption of resources and the creation of plastics are creating a global crisis of waste disposal. Developed countries are notorious for producing excessive waste or garbage, and dumping their waste in the oceans in less developed countries. Removal of garbage into a landfill can cause leaching of contaminants into soil and water. It also leads to the emissions of toxic gases in the environment. Waste management has become a necessity now. Reduce, reuse, recycle. We should reduce our packaging purchase, minimize toxicity, then reuse bags, containers, and other items. We should also start recycling. Many of us have tools and other things that we don't use regularly. Consider sharing them with your neighbors and friends. Renting is also a great option to consider. Number 3. Overpopulation The human population continues to grow rapidly worldwide. Humanity entered the 20th century with 1.6 billion people. Right now, we're about 7.5 billion. Estimates put us at nearly 10 billion by 2050. More people mean an increased demand for food, water, housing, energy, healthcare, transportation, and more. All consumption contributes to ecological degradation, increased conflicts, a high unemployment rate, and a higher risk of large-scale disasters like pandemics. Having a better education like awareness of family planning and knowledge of sex education is an effective solution to solve the overpopulation in the world. Number 2. Global Warming Global warming occurs when carbon dioxide, CO2, and other air pollutants collect in the atmosphere and absorb sunlight and solar radiation that have bounced off the Earth's surface. Climate changes like global warming are the result of human practices, like the emission of greenhouse gases. This leads to rising temperatures of the ocean and the Earth's surface, causing natural disasters that include flooding, melting of polar ice caps, rising sea levels, and unnatural precipitation patterns such as flash floods, hurricanes, wildfires, drought, excessive snow, or desertification. It has become crucial to control these carbon emissions by changing our habits. Number 1. Pollution There are seven key types of pollution. Air, water, soil, noise, radioactive, light, and thermal. These are primary causes that affect our environment in many ways. All these types of pollution are interlinked and influence each other. Therefore, we need to tackle all of them together. Pollution disturbs our ecosystem's balance, affects our everyday lives, and gives rise to human illnesses and global warming. Pollution has reached its peak due to the development and modernization in our lives. It impacts every aspect of our environment, including both humans and animals alike. Our environment is constantly changing. There is no denying that fact. However, as our environment changes, so does the need to become increasingly aware of the problems that surround it. These issues must be solved for the world to remain a supportive habitat for humans and other species. That is it for today's video. We hope you learned something valuable today. Let's do our part and take care of our environment more. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel, District 10 TV, for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.